Yes, indeed. The party starts right here. We are, I'll give myself stitch doing that, is what I'm giving you. Uh, so, oh, let's have a change of scenery. Now, what, Larry Grayson, you can't beat him. Uh, we are talking a one day special. It's six o'clock in the evening. It's Sunday night. Now, normally 41 years ago, you'd be watching London's Burning and Soldier Soldier at this time of night, just before you had a bath and then watched Heartbeat and the Antiques Roadshow. Then you get to go to bed before you had to get up for school the following day. Not anymore, my lovelies. 41 years to the day. We are talking studio lights is what we're talking about as well. And we are talking about about a one day special, find your mark Adam. Uh, we are talking about a complete collection. We've got a one day special, but we've got a complete collection that is already busy. We're struggling to get it in, I'm hearing. <laughs> leave it Baker, leave it. Um, I'm a married man. Now, it is a why not deal is what we're talking about. You're saving 10 pound on top of the other savings as well, if you're not a Freedom member. We have, if you are a Freedom member talking, you're saving £22.78 on top of every, all the other savings. And it's on three flexible payments as well. I know there's so much to cram in in this hour. And you're also getting your free special gift as it is birthday celebrations time. We've got your free gift. It's one per customer is what it will. And I'll show you in more details when we get down to your one day special. Big bundles. We've got um, paper pads in here. We've got stamps. We've got dice. We've got your art journals as well. We've got stencils and 12 by 12s. And let me show you the full page, then I'll introduce our amazing birthday guest that we've got here that's flown in specially uh, to do this show. Uh, you are getting two A4 carnage paper pads, which are die cut blocks, and you're getting the stamp sets to match as well. Uh, on their own, £49.92. Then you've also got your four die sets, 18 dies in total. This is the complete collection I'm talking about. If you want them individually, your prices are there and your item numbers are there as well. Then you've got your art journal, £21.98 pence an art journal that you are going to love 300 gsm papers and a sticker book as well then we're talking about your stencils your arabian skyline uh, your three stencils in there and your two 12 by 12 double side paper pads and then you've got your bizarre blooms oh lovely uh, three stencils and two 12 by 12 double side papers as well uh, a combined price of purchase individually is 137 pounds and 76 pence your price today is 112, uh, 127 pounds and 76 pence. If you become a Freedom member, 114 pounds and 98 pence. Uh, you can't go wrong. So the guest, it's Studio Light. Who else could we bring down to the party uh, to, to celebrate 41 years? Now, I don't know if she was there from the start. She doesn't look old enough to be there from the start, to be honest. <laughs> Looking her up and down in mind's eye, I would say she's no more than 21, plus a little bit of VAT. A lot of VAT. Well. Super tax. Obviously, it's our Lou. Our Lou's here. I'm here. I've never been anywhere. I'm not. She's, she's literally not moved for three days off the same spot. There's, there's a groove in the floor. There is a bit of a rut. <laughs> No, uh, I'm we won't, we won't tell you what the rut's for, though. Yes. <laughs> it just takes things away. Now, uh, <laughs> a free gift with purchase that we're getting as well. Anything on the live show, one post customer is get you what you're going to be getting. A nice little cute little stamp that you're getting here, Lou. Yeah, there was a couple of people have asked me online, um, and I think one of them's called Diane, and they were they've been trying to find this stamp. So here's the answer. This is the only way of getting it. This is the freebie with anything you buy on the show. Right then, let's break down your one day special. We'll ask Lou as we go uh, why it's so special. Now there's two options on your one day special. The complete collection, you're gonna get both of them. Um, oh, let me get it in first before I forget. Everything is dispatched from the 19th. Okay, so everything goes from the 19th. Save me keep boring you with the details. Uh, right then, two one day specials. Let's look at option one that we've got here. This is the Desert Mirage and Night Owl that you're looking at here. £24.96 that you're looking at. So you're getting the beautiful sets of stamps along the bottom. You're also getting your paper pad and your booklet as well. If I spin this around, you'll be able to see the booklet. Already over 20% of the stock has already gone here. Um, why do you think it's already so busy, Lou? Well, everyone loves Marlene now, don't they? They've, we've got to know her on, on, you know, on a chanda, but she's renowned anyway, but, but she brings out these wonderful, colourful, um, just absolutely exquisite 
collections and uh, she's using her, her influences from when she lived um, in you know different places yeah. and one of them that. being you know in the um, surrounded by all these absolutely wonderful it's very um, Moroccan colours. and Cuba. Africa, yeah, it is Northern Africa and places like that, and all the different exotic. Well, to me, very exotic fields and all that. So yeah, she was in in the Middle East. It, she lived in the Middle East for a few years, and she was, you know, all these influences were drawn to her and, and put into her work. So yeah, she's used them with the previous ones we had on today as well. So this goes brilliantly. It with that. really does. Now these are your die cut blocks that we're looking at at the moment as well. I've just shown you how easy they are to pop out. They literally pop out straight away. You can't go wrong with the die cut blocks. You're getting so many in there. You're getting more than 250. They're 170 GSM. You get more than 250 elements is what you're getting in there. Then we're also talking about collage paper as well. Now what's this between collage paper? And, is there so many papers out yeah. on the moment? What is collage paper then? This is like um, it's not a rice paper but it's as fine as a rice paper but it's it, collage is really tricky to get right with some papers because it's too thick or it leaves like edges and, and raised edges whereas this is it lays down really really well and it just it's super fine for collage but strong now all the images you see in it are, are, these are all from Marlene's own artworks oh nice so these are off a wall including the papers you'll see later there she's taken elements from a wall what a wall actually like. does big paintings and she's um, put them into Look at that into you know collage and uh, 12 by 12 sheets they are beautiful so you're getting all this included as well as well as the stamps now the stamps match the cutouts of the die cut blocks beautifully you know where i'm like for a scene builder i love the scene building you really can create a scene with these you could go all around the world there's something very well it is it's very arabian yeah, uh, the look that you're going for with this but also, if you tweak them slightly, you could be anywhere in the world. You could. You change some of the rooftops and take elements away or add elements, and it, it does look like a different place. I mean, these, I cut one out of copper and I forgot it. But it's my own fault. But there's so many different things like that carpet there would be great as your inches. We well, it would like oh you could use that as like little cut tiles. The ones That's next it. to them, they could be baubles, Christmas baubles if you want to do. Yes, they're lanterns, uh, but they're uh, the buttons. We are so so busy. Um, a quarter of the stock of this option has already gone. Uh, remember, you do get both of them in the complete collection as well. The second collection that we talk about is Ar arabesque and camel travel. Well, I never. Uh, right, and let's go with the stamps first of all. We'll go with the stamps down the bottom. Um, and you've got your arabesque and your camel travel. This is your arabesque that we're looking at at the moment. So these are more of your the sort of fleur de lis and your yeah. fans and your feathers and things like that. And this is, to me, it re quite re it, re it resembles Mende and, and the beautiful henna t tattoos and, and yes. dyes. But I, I, I adore these shapes because I just think that, that it, I can see it in repeating patterns on wallpaper or landscape. Who doesn't love it? Like a camel with a crown on, come on. It is. It's kind of very Christmassy. It's also kind of very Aladdin mm. with the lamp in there. Other films are available um, with lamps in. Alibaba. Genie. Genie, things like that. But then you, you could also go... Alibaba's not the same film, I don't think. Uh, but then you've also got your die cutouts as well. But these could be baubles. You just them down if you don't knock the colours back in them. Absolutely. And you can do it. You can do it really quirky if you want. You can do it sort of so. whimsy. Worker, you can do it fun. You can be, you, you can take it down to any. I was talking to Catherine about it, these elements, and some of these elements, you could, you know, like that. That that could be anywhere, any time, and you can make them into uh, trading discs and yeah, also It could. It all depends on what you want it to be. There is so them. much you can do with them. Once again, don't let the names put you... Well, you're really not letting the names put you off at all. We're so, so busy uh, on these collections. Uh, they are absolutely stunning with what you're getting. Just like the little Moroccan tiles that you're getting in there. Uh, they are beautiful. But the blue ones look Dutch, Delft. Yeah, they do. These sort so, of these ones. you know, depending here. on colour is what I mean by... It, it all depends on what the colour you're using. denotes what it, what it looks like. And you're getting two sheets of each as well. Yep. Uh, 20, and you also get the papers in there. £24.96. 1559... Well, I'll start that again. 155194 is your item number. For two one-day specials, you pick whichever one you want to pick from. 
Um, you know, they're both beautiful. This is going to be the hardest decision that you're going to make. If your budget will go through, I'd go for that big collection because that's where the saving is. Something else that you might want to do, though, is the die sets that we've got now. These would work beautifully with everything that you've already got. Absolutely. Um, they're in the complete collection already is what you're getting. But just look at the detail that are in these. I can now see pathways, Moroccan tiles. Yes, it's meant to be a terrine, like a, a, a big window. But I can see so many little elements in these dies. And again, true to studio light, you have to really look and see that the layers of dies that are in that, like the, the lantern or that wonderful Moroccan window, there's three dies in that alone. Yeah, you've got the outer edge, you've got the, the large one, and then you've also got the inner edge as well that's already in there. You imagine that as like a little pathway and you're doing your cottages along the top, as it were. Um, you can see on the dies what they also cut out like as well, whether they cut in and out of the paper. Yep. Uh, paper piecing in that would be remarkable. It would be absolutely beautiful. You put your vellums and then your candles behind as well. Then ones like this that we're now looking at, once again, it's one large large die but my word it's a die that packs a punch it really really does they um, dollars they're great for drawing in and stuff well yeah but then because i'm not very good at drawing so if you can't draw things like these are phenomenal because you just trace them well yeah and you can use that cut it out but then you can do doodles in the background of it so you it's a two for one you can I cut it, but draw in the spaces that are left. And then, but then these, this is what makes it for me, because there are so many things you could use these for. Cut them down. Yes, they're meant to be beautiful Moroccan lanterns that you've got there, but they doesn't have to be. They could be Christmas baubles. That one at the bottom, this one here, you could go really nautical with it, because it looks like the boy that you have on the side of a boat, if you wanted it to as well. You do it in like your blues and your browns that's already on there. Uh, then you've also got your villages as well. Now, this yeah. so reminds me of um, Aladdin, where he jumps across the rooftops, things like that. You've got your stars. But knock it back, we could have nativity. Yeah, this absolutely. This screams nativity as well. So you really got that two for one if you wanted to. Uh, 144048 is your item number, £29.96. Now... This next one, if you're going for the complete collection, you may want two of these. This is beautiful. It is your art journal, and that's what it is. You are getting so much in there. There are 30 sheets in there. You get the poly pocket that you've got there as well. And then the card that is in it is 300 GSM. Oh my word, this means you can throw anything at this. Absolutely. And it's really gonna stand the test of time. You can see already, this is what I love about a journal, that you have got space to play with this, that you've got in there. You can add pages, you could go 3D, you can go with your texture paste, and it's not gonna be one of them that you have to cram shut and then really fight to put the elastic around it, keep it close. You've got a bit of wiggle room, well, you've got a lot of wiggle room in here. You can see on the rings as well that you've got an awful light. Cut out your Moroccan scenes and put them in that poly pocket that you've got at the front. Um, then, Go to town with your 300 GSM pages. Back and front is absolutely stunning. And it also matches your papers. And not only are you getting that, you're also getting your sticker book as well. 28 sheets is what you're getting inside your sticker book. Um, sentiments and phrases. I love that one. Old ways won't open new doors. Absolutely. It's so true, though. Uh, but... Once again, you've got them in the black and you've got them in the white. So now you're not limited. These are standalone. Do your work, find an image, stick it on. Jobs are good, as it were. Um, I'm a little crazy in a big way. Um, I absolutely adore all of these small miracles you've got in there. Each one is different, uh, fearless and free that you've got. There is so, so many, all in the black and all in the white as well. Uh, then, oh my word, you even get the little splodges at the back. I don't know if you can see these. Uh, maybe I'll, maybe I'm white. Mm. Yeah, just uh, wiggles, yeah. So you're getting like your splodges and your paint runs in there as well, all on your back pages. Uh, it's worth having a little look, 21 pounds and 98 pence. Um, right then, I'm being told we need to rattle on because we are so, so busy this evening. So you're getting three stencils in here and you're getting 12 by 12 as well. 
um, at the back, which is absolutely, which is double sided. So you're getting two of your 12 by 12, which is obviously double sided. And then you're getting three of your stencils. Now, once again, we'll be using these over the course of the next 24 hours. So do not worry, but we are busy on your stencils already. 17 pounds and 95 pence. Let me show you your 12 by 12s on both sides, just so you can see the colors that you're getting. Uh, this is your first side of your 12 by 12. There's one, there's two. And then this is your Arabian Skyline. This is the one we used last time I was with Lou uh, at two o'clock this afternoon. Uh, it is beautiful, is what we're using here. This is your first one, your Arabian Skyline, 17 pounds and 95 pence. 508275 is your item number. And your next one is the Bizarre Balloons. Um, I love the name of this. Uh, so now it's all your bizarres. It's all your, I love this, very much rug-esque. Look at that in there. How beautiful is that? Literally like a textured rug that you'd find in all the, the Turkish bazaars that you've got around. And then you're getting your 12 by 12 thrown in as well. Um, 17 pounds and 95 pence. Uh, very, very Arabian. But once again, please, please, please don't let that put you off because there is so much you can do with this collection, which Lou will talk you around. The complete collection over a quarter of the complete collection now has already gone. Let's split the cost on three ways for you. So first of all, if you're a Freedom member, your three flexible payments are there. 38 pounds and 33 pence is what you're looking at today. 38 pounds, 33 pence today will get you everything that you see on this counter at the moment. It is massive. That photo does not do this justed. It really does not do that photo. You are getting so much more than is in that pack, I can tell you now. Uh, three flexible payments if you're a Freedom member, 38 pounds and 33 pence. 876943 is your item number uh, for your one day special complete collection. You are getting so, so, much. Let me bring in the full page for you and we'll quickly whiz down because it's got the price on there as well and it also shows you how much you're saving. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to guide your eyes down to the bottom. Individually £137.76. Today's price £127.76. If you're a Freedom member I can split that to £114 and a few pennies today. This is what you are going to be getting. Everything that you see in front of me now will be yours for flexible payments of 38 pounds and 33 pence. If you're not a Freedom member though, we've still got it on three flexible payments for you. And that price would be, uh, so it's 127.76, so it's 42.58. It's basically one of these why not deals that we've got. So it's a why not deal. It basically it is. If, you, if you're wanting it all, become a Freedom member for the month. And I shouldn't be saying it, but you're going to love being a Freedom member. You really will. And if it's not for you at the end of the month, you can cancel at any time. There's no obligation to continue for that month. But anything you buy will be free P&P. Because it's all in one. It doesn't matter where you are in the world. Right then. You've seen everything I've got. You've seen the entire collection. Let's see what we can do with this collection when we get it home. Right then, Lou. It's Good. all down to you. Well, I thought I'd do a quick page using the journal, some of the stencils, um, bits and bobs from everything, just to get us like the juices got flying. So I thought I'd do this quick page. When I was with uh, chatting to Marlene, we actually spoke and she showed me like her sketchbook. So I thought I'd recreate it similar to hers, but in my style. So um, the first thing you've got to remember is a, 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 a journal or a sketchbook is entirely up to you what you put in it or how you use it. But the main thing is you've got to enjoy doing it. So I've taken the page out, which is really good because you can with these. You know, you're not fixed with it being in the block. You, you can take it out. Um, what I've also got, uh, I've got so much here planned, it's un untrue. But I've got the stencils. Now, I've looked at all the colours that Marlene uses in all her work, which is plenty of them. And I've put a little palette out of colours that I think I like that sort of look similar to hers. So I've got bright pinks, I've got a yellow, I've got blues, two different sorts of green, uh, blue, sorry, and I've got a green. And what I'm gonna do is a real quick page just to break that block, as we say. Because sometimes we'll sit there, well I will, and I'll, I'll be thinking, well what do I do? 
well, well I'm, I don't know what to do. I'm bored of what I do art, but what do I do? So the first thing you do is start doing backgrounds. So I've damped down one side, and as you can see, and the other side, and it is now flat. Perfect. Ah. So if you damp down both sides, it doesn't matter if we get out on it because we, I'm going to mess it up anyway. So I'm going to use all of the stencils. You're like, what? All of them? That's a bit mad. I know it is, but it looks brilliant. So I've damped down my page first, and we're going to go um, with a little bit of white, and I'm just going to start straight off rubbing the white into it. Now, I don't care how messy it looks. If there's a little bit of colour on it, you might be able to see the colour shining. You're just getting a little bit of pink from it, but it's just to put down a little bit of colour ready. So, done that bit. Changed my lovely clean sponge, and I'm going to put in a bright pink and a fluorescent, and I go over the top. Now, I'm going to work into and near. Turn my sponge around, get some pink going, and then the white with it. So, near, not slightly on it, as those people who know me will know it, it's sort of, when I'm doing backgrounds, it's near, next to, but not completely covering it. Because what you don't want is to obliterate what you've just done, you want to add to it. So again, if it's too light, put a little bit of white on while it's still like that. Then, another area. And keep changing which side of the sponge you're using, so you really haven't got much choice, or you, you can't, because I, I end up faffing, I really do end up faffing. Oh, what colour? Oh, well, I have that one. No, just get on with it. So, I've had the pink, I've used the fluorescent, I've used the magenta, I've used the white, I'm going to go with teals. And I'm going to use the same stencil, and I'm just going to go straight in with a bit of teal. And what I'll get now is a beautiful purple as well. Only in three places. But where it matches with the pink, the magenta and teal, when it's still wet, you'll get a beautiful purple. So I'll look again a little bit more. And as I said, it is extremely drying in these uh, environments. You won't, you won't believe how fast paint dries. If it does, just spray lightly because you'd be surprised how much that tiny spray will water the surface down. So I've got three areas there. I'm going to just chop this in half because you know how tight I am. Right, and now I'm going to go in with yellow. And the yellow... I don't care about washing that. And the yellow is going to be next to and on. So if you think about it being blue, yet red and yellow, I, I will eventually end up with a, you know, the primaries. Although the different shades of primaries, I will get a mix with these colours because the colour I'm using is slightly transparent. Well, very transparent, it's not slightly. So I'll end up with greens and oranges and all sorts. Again, three areas. I'm going to change that around because I'm conscious that I'm using blue. And again, work on that. Right. So, I've covered my page now. And it looks really mad, but it's nice, it's warm, it's like all that spicy. Can you imagine, like, yeah. hot, spicy evenings and spicy Ooh. food? Absolutely. Hot, spicy evening? Well, I mean, only with food, nothing oh. else. Oh, yeah, no, no, no. I'll have a cup of tea. Right. <laughs> so, I've got the orange coming on now, which is a mix between the fluorescent and... Don't drink tea, either. Um, <laughs> just start to throw that in. And, and again, <laughs> move it round in uh, between. And, uh, what's that? On. How much has gone now? Oh, my word. A third of the stock. A third of the, uh, the complete collection. Wow. A third of the stock has now already gone uh, in 23 minutes. This is a complete collection. We are going to go back to Lou um, straight after this. But a third of the stock now has already gone. Get it while you can. I would. Um, do you want me to quickly mention this as well while I'm here? Um, this is extra, uh, a little, a little add-on kit. This is the Go Dutch collection. You get the uh. journal, which is the 20 page journal, with which is 300 GSM paper in there as well, uh, which is very, very busy. And you also get the washi tape thrown in as well. Uh, you're getting uh, different widths in there, so you get one, um, you get five meters on each is what you're getting, uh, but you get different widths in there, so two centimetres, uh, 0.75 centimetres, half a centimetre, things like that. Uh, so you get all the different pages in there as well. Uh, it's a nice little collection, nice little add-on for £11.98. Uh, I think that's beautiful. 
It's good, that. It's a nice little collection. Yeah, people uh, have been asking me about the gold. And if you get that, you'll also get the free stamp as well. Anything you buy on the show, you get the free gift. Oh, that's good. A little extra. So what I've done is I've mixed some colours. I've put a little bit of dark blue on, but I will go back and show you. And now I've changed stencil. I'm going with some translucent colours. And what that means is that there's um, an, a, a transparency between them. So they're not, not going to cover up what I've already done. They're just going to build on the colour. So I've got a tiny bit of the fluorescent pink, tiny bit of the yellow, and I'm just going in, in between. And you can see then, this has got different areas. So it's got built up areas, it's got really fine areas, and then double areas. So it's, it's a very versatile, very versatile um, stencil. So now I'm gonna go back in, right, so leave that there. Don't touch that with this, don't touch that one. And I'm gonna go back in with a really dark blue just to pick up areas. So you can see I'm moving around this area. So what I'm going to do is just gently put the very dark, not black, just to pull it out. So I'm going to choose perhaps where I went over before. I like these stencils. It's sort of like two stencils in one. Oh, well, well there's, yeah, that's absolutely. Because you've got the filled in section at the top as well, if you want, like, the negative. Absolutely. Now, this one, because I'm only using small areas, I'll go for five small areas. And it is all about using negative, uh, not negatives, uh, even odd numbers. Oh, get it right. So, blue it's, on blue. Is it threes and fives? Three, five, to? sevens. Now it's all odd numbers. Yeah. So, really like that. Really like that. And it's really bright. It's colourful. Nice. It's exactly how you imagine. So, sort of, well, I imagine sort of the evenings to be and all that. In the, yeah, like you know when you go to the markets and you see all the spices thrown in the air and that sort of thing, like Absolutely. the colour and. It's. I love that. I, I, have you never seen the adverts for these sorts of places? They go to these markets and they throw spices it's, everywhere. It's a spice and market, isn't it? Yeah. And they have these Loving wonderful, it. like, heaps of colour. It's just stunning. And you just, like, it, it brightens me up colour. It really does. So I'm going to go back to this one because I'm feeling we need a bit more orange. Now, what you need to do is don't be frightened of, of bright colours, she says, wearing black all the time. <laughs> um, but be, I love bright colours. It's just the... I, I often sort of am not confident about wearing them, but that brightness there, and I've got this, like, let me show you what I mean. I've got a dash of colour here, and I've got this coming down here, so it's very much heavy here. So what I need to do is just even it out, just with maybe just this edge, do a little bit and then move it. Right, yeah. I'm happier with that. Do a little bit, move it. Don't try and just do wallop the lot on, right? And then balance it. You don't. It doesn't need a lot. Just that touch will do it now, and it's brought that all alive. So, we've got these wonderful. Um, it, it's like a checker pattern. It's like a lattice. Yeah, and you don't have to use them for all of that. You can just use a little bit. And I'm just going to go in with a little bit of white into the blue, and just change up areas that I think might need a little bit of lifting. And this is a great little tip because it just breaks that area up. Can you see there, if yeah, I do the dark that? Blue. That dark blue's now, and a bit down here. So if I look at this bit here, you can see it's quite heavy and it really overpowers all of it. So change the stamp, at the, the stencil, or stamp, go over it, it's now broken that look down. That. So it's not, that is not as heavy. But in the same respect, you can also go in with a flash of a flash oh, um, of blue, and just a little bit. I'm, I'm almost tickling, tickling, to bring it back in, just to break that up a little bit here. Now you're one. thinking, why would you do all this? Well, the layers. This is how Marlene does her own work, you see. So you could then get a brayer and brayer over it to knock it down, but I don't want to do that. I want to really sort of utilise the colours I've got on there. Now, what you get is I've got this stencil here, which is an amazing stencil in its own right, and you probably look at it better. And we've got all these, like, really great patterns that could sort of be, to me... I don't know, they're like heaps of those spices and we've got wonderful flowers and we've got another one that's quite Moroccan and we've got this almost tulip style. Yeah. And I really like this, so what I'm going to do is use the red... That one in the corner, um, you're right, that sort of scallop, the very peacock-esque. Oh yes, very much, very much. And you can use it like that as well. So what I'm going to do is just 
using the colours that are underneath. I'm not trying to cover them up. I'm just going to bring out that wonderful tulip bell shape there. And I'm just, I don't want the colours to, I don't want it to be covered up because all these colours underneath give it tones. So I'm just going to do that there. Um, I can line it up in a minute, but if you've got um, a stiffer brush and you want to do it with a brush, you can do. Now, Tanis Hayes is part of the group. She finds it difficult to use sponges. So she was showing me how she uses it with a brush. And, and she's, I've learned a lot from her. a lot of people. Armadita have learned loads about how people use um, their, their products because they have to find a way of using it. And I think that's so important. I suppose everyone's different and they've all got their own little techniques that they all use. Yeah, if you, and if you find using a pencil a certain way really difficult, then you, you're not going to sort of... Well, if you don't give up, you're going to be able to sort of find a way. And I think I've learned so much. So I've put the green on, I've put the, the nice. layers on. So now you can just see the sort of dark flower. It's yeah. hard to see like that. You put another one on and think in mind of how you want it to look because I'm going to be layering with something else she says as she's cut it out and I can't find it. Oh, here it is. Right, so I'm going to do like three like this. So you can do a pattern there, um, a flower there, sorry. I'll do another quick one, but I'll change the colours a bit. I'll go a bit faster. Now, if you've got the collage pack, which is brilliant, you don't even need to do your own paper to cut these little borders out. You can just use a, pack, a, pack, um, a sheet of that and paper. cut it out. Yeah, but I've used um, the, the on here, I've used the packaging because it's great packaging. So that I've got really another is. one there. So I've not put any light on it yet because I don't really want to, but I'm just going to put the green in. Now, I won't see a lot of this green, but I know where not to go now. So I'm just putting a little bit more green. And if you don't want to blend or do all that, you don't have to just paint it on with your brush. As long as it's not too wet, you paint, it'll be fine. Now you can see how dark that looks. So what I can do is go back over this. And layers take time to dry properly. If you're trying to do this and all the work's wet, it will look a mess because it needs time to dry. So there we go, miles better. So I've got the two there. I'm happy about that. Don't, it's not finished. What you do is get a little bit of the blue, and these are little tricks that I use, not with white on. Oh, that's because I've not cleaned my brush. You get a little bit of blue, and all you do is just put a tiny bit of blue, and I mean a tiny bit, blob it on like that, and then a tiny bit of water. Start there and wash it in. Done. There's your shading done. That's Absolutely nice. done. No, no right, faffing. We're going to let you do the other one. Yeah, sure. I've got one to cut out and then I'm ready to start. Yeah. We'll let you cut one out and then we'll be, we will be back. We are busy across the board. Over a third of the stock of the complete collection now has already gone. You are getting so much from stamps to papers to pop outs to decoupage to dyes. You are now getting your art journal with your sentiments in there. You're getting all the stencils that Lou is using as well and your 412 by 12s as well there is so much in this collection and as we are talking studio lights 41st birthday they've even thrown in a free gift as well gift with purchase is the free stamp i have it here uh, the free stamp that you're going to be receiving with every single order one per household but you will be getting this as well a part of the gift it is a beautiful beautiful collection that you can't go wrong with there is so many different options that you can use from simple products to do like this i'm just going to show you samples uh, from across the board so you can see what we're actually doing how beautiful is that so the little reflection that you've got in the water with the mandala that's like the sunshine uh, simple cards like the camel uh, that you've got there as well uh, how beautiful is that so you haven't got to use and that's using the papers in the background if you're thinking how am i going to stick all of this together how am i going to do it using them as journals simple journal pages that you've got in there. There is so much you can use and so much you can do using the beautiful papers as you go along. And then once again, 
you've also got that easy way of making cards should you wish to do so as well. There is so many options that you can choose time and time again. It works hand in hand with each other. There is so much. Uh, something else that you may like as well, launch today is the Studio Light 7 Day Saver that we've got on the show. These are your journal dies. So if you're into your journal making, once again, you could use these as card blanks as well, I feel, because there's so many things you do. Uh, make papers for your journals as well. If you've just bought any of the journals that we've got on the shows and the previous shows that you've seen, Start turning those pages. If you don't know what to do with the pages, die cut them out, turn them into journal pages. You will love them even more, taking smaller elements. And for two flexible payments of £19.98, you're saving £4 on these as well. 21 dies is what you are looking at all in all. Right then, we are busy. We are really busy. Uh, with everything I speak about, you can get individually as well. So if your budget won't stretch for the full collection, and I'm with you on this, um, not everyone's got the budgets at the moment as well. Let me give you the details for the one day special on the own. Maybe your budget will go for the one day special, but there are two options that you can go for on your one day special. Uh, so you've got um, Desert Mirage and Night Owl, uh, which is the first collection here. So you get the paper pad, you get the block, uh, the die cut block, and you get the two sets of stamps as well. Uh, and then in set two, you get arabesque and camel travel uh, in set two as well. Once again, the paper pad, the die cut block, and you get your two sets of stamps also in there. Uh, we're busy across the board. I absolutely love it. Uh, put them into acrylic. How cute is this? Uh, into your acrylic blocks that you've got there. Oh, he's got a little, got a little chain on him. Uh, but you can go to town with these. They're absolutely beautiful. Uh, right then, Lou, let's come back to you. What are you up to? No, it's really simple. All I've done is I've you don't want to see me do this i've got a piece of spare card that i've used and i've just cut it out and i've done the same just sponged it through and just chopped round it now i've not done curly bits on it because i don't really need them because i'm going to go around them that way but the red card underneath just shows you that you know the layers all look they look like they've been cut from the same thing and they haven't <laughs> so layers do create this depth and you know you have to do it to see what i actually mean but all i'm going to do is just i did this before and all i'm going to do is bring this out so i'm not trying to get rid of the background i am just trying to bring that image out and i did it before with some of the windows that we had on them yeah. the essentials and it's a little trick learn and it's about positive it's called positive and negative painting and it's where i'm actually concentrating on the shape around rather than the shape that it's taking I suppose it makes it a focal point. It, it does. knocks back the colour of the background, so it really brings that to your attention, but you can still see the background through it. It does. It doesn't get rid of it. I don't want to get rid of it because then what's the point actually? Yeah, what is the point? What I want to do is bring this forward and that back, and the way to do it is, so if you want it even more than that, you wait for that to dry and then get some. Now, it doesn't work as well with gesso. You get um, You need a... a a sort of harder brush so use something a shorter bristle like this um, and then just go on one side lighter and give it another layer and that means it's going to be sort of concentrating the light on one side if for instance that you might think oh that looks a bit harsh then just wash it out with a little bit of water with your paint and then it'll just cover it. So you've got this really nice, now it's popped out again, you can see. Yeah. If I was to do the same, I'll just, I won't do it now, because it'll look, it, it'll sort of, I've got lots more to do rather than this, but if I was to just show you how on that strand now, that one tiny bit there has now brought that that out. Can you see, it's, it's sort of made, made a point and said, yeah, it's here. It sort of gives you the shadow, like yeah. it is st like it's three-dimensional now. But what you do need to think, oh, I've got my pens, oh, and I can do all mm. this. So your gold pens, your silver pens and all that. So I've done the same um, and on here, but I, I quite like the idea of having this three-dimensional. I mean, I'll show you mine later on, but it's the idea of you choose what you want to do, but I quite like that. That's nice. Now, what you can do, is use the collage paper and have it like that 
So in the stencil, you can see, all you'd, all you'd do is basically, you could cut that out and then draw lines in this, whichever way you want, or emboss it. Or you could sponge through and just leave a little bit. It's entirely up to you. You know what I mean? You could sort yeah. of change the colours. But I'm just going to show you how you can do it with a little bit of paint. But to get the same effect as that, I'm going with a black gesso because oh. black gesso is slightly different to a white gesso because there's more, there's chalk in a white gesso. There's less, you know, sort of less stuff to make it chalkier in black. So I'm just going to get a little bit of black. I don't want to cover it up. I want to just get rid of that there. Now, what you could do is get your flower ready so where you know it's going to be and paint over all of it like that. Oh, or, as you go through. Yeah, or you could just, what you could just do is cut out paper and do it. But I just want to show you in case people want to see. There's two ways of doing it. And you get to see the colour underneath and you get to see the layers. And it is a little bit trickier than um, cutting paper out but I actually quite like this way because it's different it's a little bit different you can still see all the colors you've got but this time the black is taking away the colors bright so you've got this so it looks 3d ah. like it's behind something so and when you move it you've got your flower shape there so what you can do then is do a little bit a smaller version and just do a smaller version in a different colour. But uh, to balance that, sorry, did you want to... No, I was going to say, we've had an email in. Before oh, yeah. the end of this hour, would you be able to show us the stamps? Oh, yeah, of course I would. So in, in just to balance it here, all I'm going to do is just... Who's the email from? Anne. Anne's Anne. emailed in. No problem, of course, Anne. Can just, we the stamps? Yeah. Now, just to balance it, I've put that in there, so it's just to balance it. So Look again, to show you, this is like a page now. I'd, it need words. So now you want to see some stamps. So, how would, do you want me to just stamp them out, or would you want to put them on a page? Uh, so it's entirely up to you. Right. How how would you normally use stamps? Okay. Oh, sounds well, a bit random. How would you use stamps? I think one of the nice <laughs> things about these stamps are, it's very, especially the you know ab arabesque, is when you stamp these out that. If you've already made this background or if you've made this as a gel press or anything, or even if you get a piece of Marlene's paper um, and you cut that out, then all the background work's done for you. But if you don't want to do that, you can cut, cut these out, um, cut them out of plate coloured paper or you can stamp them and then colour them in that's what I meant to say but they are very fine now this isn't the juiciest of pads <laughs> at all it's got, it's got but I'll use really this white not, paper it, no it isn't <laughs> I, I couldn't have picked a worse one up but I'm just going to show you how beautiful We're it is all like, is this actually stamped no oh it did though look at that so We've got these beautiful stamps. Now, I would do it all at once. Now, actually, I love this. I would do a repeat pattern. This is a, a repeat pattern. I would sort of slightly... That change is. the shape. And then... And because it's not that juicy, this If ink you want these stamps, this fine. is in the Arabesque and Camel Travel set. And this, this looks, or oh, Mr. Bit, but you can always go back in. You can. That's because I had my finger uh, on it instead. Mr. Baker is asking, can you hold that up to camera one so we can see the detail? He's loving the detail in that. Um, we've had another email. Who's the email from? Oh, it doesn't say from, Ms. from Mr. Anonymous. Yeah. Or Mrs. Anonymous. Uh, what paints are you using? Gold, the by the looks of it. Yeah, I'm using golden paint, and I'm using. Oh, thank you, Lou. Apps, uh, and Marlene's first range. Oh, okay. So I'm just going to put a little bit in so you can see um, like a repeat pattern using this. I'm using really fine paper. Um, it works on all paper, but if you've got, you know, really thick paper, then use your stamp plant form that to just stamp, it. the detail in that. It's like a wallpaper. It does. And then I could continue all the way down. But if I just get um, like a big brush and just show you how beautiful, just get a tiny bit. Because I've stamped it out now and I've got um, 
archival, so it's permanent, I can put washes over this. Now, I don't know what sort of this paper is, whether it's going to react to this, but I can just put some washes on it. Oh, yeah. And then... So I'm just oh, allowing wow. the colour to just go on because I'm going to, I want a bright, vibrant background. And if I use too much colour all at once, I haven't got much sort of leeway either way. So put a little bit on, add your colours a little bit at a time. I've got some fluorescence going on. I need a little bit more yellow. And you can use your watercolours. So these are Marlene's original watercolours. And I can add the, the brightness again. And then, so you can colour your paints, in, uh, your stamps in, or you can choose to sort of stamp them as a whole, like a page, and then just add paint over all of them. And then, the nice thing, what you can do, I might add a bit of purple because of a bit it, of teal. It, it, Mr. Baker just had an idea. That it would, and I was thinking the same then. Uh, this would make stunning wrapping paper on brown paper. Oh gosh, yeah. Yeah, but it, it would look beautiful. But what you need to do is once you've given it a background like that, choose the colour that you want as a focal point and then go in with that and just pick out the flower. Now, it has got a coating on this paper, so you would see, you can see it sissing, and that means where it moves away from itself. But you can actually just bring in a brightness so you can see. That's nice. Just pick out the colour. And you don't have to be too neat, you know, it's all about the shapes and, you know, the stamping. That I am going to make you work for your money this hour, Lou. Yeah, We've sure. had another question in from Margaret from Brighton. She wants to know, uh, to have a look at the die-cut blocks, if we could, before the end of the hour. Absolutely. See, Lou's good. I love when Lou does this. Right, so we've got these. Now, what I can do is quickly show the same technique, but with a different colour. So this time, I'm just going to work the background and blend the background in. Now, this isn't abs this is absorbent paper, so you know you've got to be quick. So, I was doing it with white, but you can still do it with pink if you know what I mean. You can sort of do the same, take a bit more time. There's, there's there are certain questions I thought when I when I started my television life that I never knew I'd sort of ask. We've had a question in from is it Sue? Thank you for your email, Sue. It is much appreciated. I never thought I'd be asking this question on TV. What sponge are you using? Sponge. Oh, this is fat foam. I love me fat foam. Fat foam. Fat foam. Right. Don't now, know what fat foam is, but uh, is, fat that a, foam is, is that a brand name? No, it, that's what it's is called. That, that's that the sponge it? that you use for blending. And that one, when you heat it, it's, it's good. It's by Ranger. If you heat oh, that you up, you put it on a light bulb or something, it becomes a stamp. Oh. So you can press into it, it becomes a stamp, and then when you want to get rid of it, you reheat it. So if we serve by Ranger, if you yep. look for the Ranger Ranger, we may have it on our website. Yeah, we have. Uh, we've got it on our website, so go uh, shop by brand Ranger Fat Foam. That's what you're searching for. Right, OK. Oh, that looks I wouldn't that really cool. rough. But if I was to get Fat this foam. and put this in my book, and then I want some of my little journals. Now, what was it when we was asked? Journal dies or the books? Uh, die cut blocks. Can I have one? Can of course I you can. Uh, can you throw us one? Uh, there you go. Oh, it's here. Oh, there you go. Uh, you'll leave you that um, one. What was the, well, how's that? Almost 40%, almost 40% of the complete collection now has already gone. 40% right. of the complete collection in the first it's live hour in 48 minutes. 40% has gone, and you've also got your free stamp as well. One per customer. Oh, I know, I'm very noddy today. I'm like a nodding dog. Uh, right, and let's go back because we haven't got long left. Right, well, I've got the flower. You could have that. I mean, it, it sits quite nicely. Is there? If you get a piece of, I don't know, a bright colour red, maybe red behind it would really look. And just show you how that was stamping. Oh, look at this. I mean, it's quite powerful and strong and punchy, that colour. So, and you could get your gel pens on this, it would mm. great, you know, on your sparkle ones. So, if you want that. However, nice. however, and I want to use that in something else. We've got this here. We've got our wonderful... Background. This is on spot, this, you know. I know. You're doing really well. This is on spot. I haven't planned any of this. Right, you, Lou, you rip a bit. Lou, did have her demos all planned out. They're now, all there in my book and it worked nothing gone, about this. We've gone awry. We, um, we asked you if you wanted to see anything. No, I don't mind. Don't mind. That's, that's the versatility of it. Get some cardstock that you're not mind sort of using. Rip it. Then what I want you to do is get... I know you're thinking, well, where's that going to go? Watch, I'll show you. Oh, I sound like watch my mother. Right, <laughs> darken up this area. I've got the wrong one. I need, I need the dark one. Muffin the mule. Muffin the mule. 
I, the, the, all these things now. The, you know when you used to say words and they were all right to use, and now you don't know if you can say certain words. Well, I'm like that with a lot of them. Let's not say them exactly. now, just in case. Right, I'm going to get a tiny bit of sponge, a bit of dark. I don't want it too dark, so I'm going to go with blue. Fat foam, if you want it, if you want to know. Yeah, fat foam, that's another one. And a tiny bit of black, but what I do need is a little bit of water. Sometimes it's better to spray your sponge first. Right, what I want to do is just create an edge now. It might be too dark. Dark. Oh, it doesn't matter. So, yeah, it might be a little bit too dark. So, but it doesn't matter. Nobody knew. Nobody knew. So, we've got that one there. No, it needs to be dark. I don't like that colour. It's absolutely awful. Don't like that colour. Okay. It's too wet, look. Too well, we, wet. We have put you on the spot, Lou. So no, don't, it's all right. Don't it's all right. I don't mind. Don't mind, I just want to do... No more pressure, but you've got three and a half minutes. Right, OK, <laughs> so I'm going to put that one down there. I feel really bad. <laughs> no, don't be daft, I don't mind it. It's just me... Right, so I've got that one. Are you making, like, a, 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 a desert scene for the yeah. camera? Oh. Right, OK, so he's there now. He's on his jollies. Clive, we'll call Clive. him. Clive, he's having, a, he's having a good one there. Right, and in the back, he's got a load of presents on his back. Mariposa means butterfly, doesn't it? So then we've got, I'm looking for the... Oh, I know. Oh, right, before, when I was messing about, I die cut all these out. Got, you've got to get them, get them, get them. These get are the em. dyes we're bringing in now, so da, these da, are the da. dyes. Oh, Arabian nights, like Arabian day. Right, OK. Um, so you can have it like that, or you could chop it up, or you can have it here, but I quite like the idea of that. And there's my... Um, get it in. Right. What I would do, though, is I'd colour some of the windows in. So... I've, and do you know what? It weren't planned. No, it's good. I'd get my They're sparkle me pen... In Arabian Nights. Put my sparkle pen in. In case Mickey's watching. Like that. And that gives me a bit of a glisten, but then I would add some <gasps> pattern. Oh. So, in essence, really, I know it's not the, the best of things, but I would glue that down. I'd give it a bit. Of, say, if you've got some distress pens, um, you know, your distress inks, put them on. Fantastic, then, because that really will distress it. I know I've, I've moved them, but who cares? So, I'm going to put that on. Yeah, something like your vintage photo would work really well. Oh. Have that going over there. Then have your little, have him there, with, have that there, sort of. And then have your camel, he's having a, he's bigger than them, but I'll put them there then. Because <laughs> that looks a bit big there, didn't it? It looked <laughs> massive. So, it looked like a ginormous one, I'm not having that. Well, what you could do is have him on hill there, and then have that there. He's just really close. And then have him here. No, that looks stupid. Right, but you, you know what I mean, we don't understand. you? We understand. You'd get, you just get your elements and tear the, the, the page edges off and just have a play, because the die cuts at the end of the day, they're all about, to me, it's like when you was a kid and you'd make all these, like, um, oh, today, and, and, and Mr Frog went off for his dinner with Mr Badger and all this, and you'd be, like, making your own stories up with these. So you've got, when there's a camel, more often than not, you'll have a palm tree. So let's put a palm Very tree true. in there. Like that. Don't like that there. That's better. So palm tree. And I, th I think I'd just... Home. I'd have that big Jeep. Um, where's that house I've just had? Oh, here it is. Yeah, there's a big Jeep in there. You've got a little Jeep. But you could build up. Seriously, I know we're doing this, but because this is in the back, you know, your background, it would be darker. Then you could build these. But there's all sorts of elements here. You've got these wonderful tall buildings here. So... Have a play with them. We've got these wonderful shapes that came with the others that you can actually, you know... Oh, they look nice. Exactly, so you could have them. Adam came up with a great idea of ha having them in um, key rings. Also, oh, yeah. this makes a great... I've not ripped them all out now, but that would make a great sort of... That like sunset S. Yeah, round it. And then if you get your pens, because what you're going to do is do all this and then draw on it where you want it and how you want it, you know, and build up your little scene and all sorts of things. So, yeah, I, I just spend... I could spend ages adding on to this, adding an extra building and another... It just goes on and on and on. And get your... Hang on. Hang on. That is near that. 
that's near that oh no that looks weird that's well in the distance that 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 is like yeah that's uh, gone. we've only got 40 seconds left there we're we go. gonna leave alu playing wow uh alu's back at eight o'clock with our journalist uh thank you lou my oh, love. loved it uh, any questions keep them coming no, if lou can no, do it don't. lou will do it for <laughs> you um, there is so much you can do we are busy for the big collection start checking out your baskets if you can um, i don't want you to miss out on this we are now over 40 percent of the stock has now already gone in the first live hour. Um, check out your baskets if you can. Remember, there's so much more to shop for here on the wonderful world of a channel. And technically, we are the shop that never ever shuts for craft supplies. Well, I never.